Hey guys, welcome to my furnished house tour. Come on in. As you're walking in, you're gonna be in the entryway, but you can come through the door. <laughs> okay, so to start, I'm going to shut the door. All right, so I'm gonna be showing you guys my furnished house which was a very highly requested video and some a video that I am like really excited to make myself because I put in a lot of time and effort and money into making this house look super cute and just like homey. So without further ado, we're gonna get started. I will be telling you guys where I get everything for the most part. I won't be doing small little details um, but if I try, if I like see something and I try to remember where it's from or, you know, if I can recall where it's from, I will definitely link it below as much as I can find. Otherwise, I'll just tell you what store I got it from. So, let's get started. We're going to start with this rug. This entry rug is from Target. I freaking love it. It's adorable. And then I got my little fall setup, which that's probably going to be able to see itself with. Um, so I got this mirror from Wayfair. I think it's so cute, modern, industrial slash farmhouse. And then I got um, this little fall decor like set. It's not really a set, but I made it a set um, from Kirkland's. And then this table is like a little entryway console table. And this is from Target. And then we have this cute little stackable, I don't know what to call it, shelf from Ikea, which I got a long time ago, but it's like a staple piece, I feel like. And then the plants are from Ikea, the pumpkins are from Kirkland's, and then the signs are from Kirkland's. This is my office slash like guest room because this bad boy actually folds out into a sofa sleeper and then you put like the back down but it's so freaking nice and it's actually pretty comfortable. It's like Serta, the brand is Serta um, but yeah I got it from Wayfair. I got the pillows that are on the couch from Wayfair and then the other two gray pillows come with it, the matching ones. And it's so easy. Okay, so yeah, that's the little sofa couch. I got, well, a sign just fell, but this is what the sign is. I still have to hang it back up, but celebrate friends, that goes right there. So just put that in your head, I guess. Um, and then those two signs are from Target. That is from TJ Maxx, my little plan for the week thing. This I got from an amazing client of mine. And then this I got from Target. Target. This shelf is Wayfair. And then nursing books, which I hate and I will be selling after I graduate. Um, oh, and then this is my desk. And the desk is from Target. And so is this cute little like fake little, I don't know what this is called. Fake fur, fake fur, <laughs> fur stool. Um, plant is from Target, I believe. And then computer and everything is from Apple. And then I got my curtains from Target, which we have to kind of fix the, the pole or whatever it's called. What is it called, curtain rod? Yeah, because it's kind of slacking. This is from Target. It's a cute little like nightstand table thing. And then, yeah, that is my office. Now on to the next room. Okay guys, so now we're gonna go into probably my favorite part of the house, which is the living room and the kitchen. I like it because it's so open and just super modern and like bright, so, I have a little story to tell you about this couch. I originally got the couch, I originally ordered a couch from Home Furniture and they, on closing day, they were supposed to deliver my gray like big sectional, but instead they delivered a dark chocolate brown um, sectional that was not even the same style of what I wanted. So I ended up getting a refund and then that same day, 
Um, Zach, Aubrey, and I went to Costco and we got this couch, which was way more affordable, and I really like it because it still gives you a lot of space. Um, yeah, so it's really comfy, and then this is like an ottoman for like storage, so I store extra pillows and blankets in there. And then I got these blankets from Amazon, the two pillows on each corner from Amazon. Um, it comes with like a huge pack, the rest are stored in the ottoman. And then the Give Thanks pillow is from Kirkland's. And then on this rug, or this rug is from Amazon as well. Um, it's super like plush and super soft. I just pray that my dogs don't pee on it because I feel like it'd be really hard to clean. Next we have the end tables, which I got two of them for both sides of the couch. The end tables are from TJ Maxx and then the coasters are from Kirkland's. And then next up we'll go to the decor on both sides of the fireplace. So, um, my aunt got me this box, I'm not sure where it's from. And then I got this vase from Ikea, this like greenery from Target, it's a Chip and Joanna Gaines collection thing. And then both of these are from Ikea along with the frames. This is the same thing from Joanna Gaines collection for, at Target. And then this bin, we had a long time ago, I have no idea where it's from. The plants are from Target. The greenery, again, is from Target, all Chip and Joanna Gaines collection. Um, this is this little industrial looking can is from Kirkland's, the greenery is from Target, this is from Target, this is from TJ Maxx, these are from Target, 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 Ikea, Ikea or Target, I don't really know. And then this is from Kirkland's, and then Target. Okay, so now we're gonna go into the dining room, which Zach and I um, ended up like refurbishing or refinishing, or I don't really know what you wanna call it. Um, this table, we originally got it from Wayfair and it came in like a um, oaky, maple y, walnut y color, I think. I don't know. Um, I'll put in a picture if I can find it in the little corner. And then we used a Rust Oleum, like flat black paint to spray paint it and actually turned out pretty nice and it was super cheap the table was super cheap it was like 400 bucks or less and then the cans of paint were like really cheap as well but I am getting a different table from Pottery Barn but it didn't it's not coming into like December which is kind of a bummer but once we put in the permanent table this will be like our picnic table or we'll just put this downstairs this is actually real it's real eucalyptus from Trader Joe's and then the base is from Ikea and then this cute little plant, there's three plants, and then this little pot is from Ikea. These two from Target, and then this from Ikea, and then the plant stand from Target. And then eventually um, my dad's going to help me put in like floating shelves and like a wine rack. He's going to build it for me in a, probably a couple months. And then we go to the kitchen, which is just so white and beautiful, I love it. So we have the Kim Kardashian uh, cookie jar, or Khloe Kardashian, I don't remember who does it. My sister did it for Chips Ahoy and Oreo. And then my toaster is from Costco. This cute little sign is from Kirkland's. And then I got these two salt and pepper shakers from Ikea. These two are from Kirkland's, and then I got this little set from West Elm, and then this set of like utensils is from Amazon. And then this knife set is actually from Amazon. I only paid like 34 bucks from it, and it's actually a really nice knife set, and I love how modern it looks. And then I got this wine little rack thing from Target, and then I got my wine from 
Apollo Liquor, I think, in Target. Or Apollo Liquor in Rochester, which doesn't matter at all. I ended up getting a Vitamix, which I had a lot of people, because I did a poll on Instagram asking people if they liked it and whatnot. A lot of people said that it was worth the money. I didn't buy like a $600 one because I didn't feel like that was really necessary. Um, so I got one on Amazon, and I will link it in the description box. And I freaking love it. it. It's so nice, and it's not. It was only like 300, which only it's still expensive, but I think it'll last a really long time. Plus, it comes with a pretty good warranty. I got my Bomo Nutrition Rapid Mixers, my Nespresso, which is from Amazon, and then my Keurig Mini Keurig is from Target. I forgot to point out that I got this little spinny tray thing from the Chip and Joanna Gaines collection, and then I got these three pieces from Marshalls, I believe. Yeah, Marshalls. I also forgot to mention that these stools are from Wayfair. That sign is from Wayfair, and then that sign is from Target. I think that's all that I forgot. All right, bye. Next up, we're gonna go into my favorite part of the kitchen, which is the pantry. My goal was to make it literal pantry goals, okay? And I think I succeeded for the most part. Okay, so. Dun, 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 dun. like white top little push things. These from Costco and Target. They're the OXO brand. I got the black wired bins from the container store as well as these white bins. I got those and the white bins on the bottom are from the container store. And then the cereal bins are from Target. And then let's see. I got these cute little pumpkins that are holding the candy from Kirkland's and then all my Beaumont Nutrition stuff. Okay, so now we are gonna go into the mudroom area that is also by the garage. So honestly, all I did was add this like mat from Lowe's and then we have the boys' cute little winter jackets, their invisible fence collar, their leashes, poop bags, umbrella, my bag for school. And then we put up this little welcome sign that will hold our keys and also some mail or wallets and stuff like that. Now we are going to go to me and Zach's bedroom. So follow me. This, the bed set and the two nightstands from a place called Scandinavian Designs. And they're based out of, um, they have a store in Minneapolis. I just think they're so cute. It's like industrial looking, but also modern -y, farmhouse looking. Greenery, once again, is Chip and Joanna Gaines collection. We got all the TVs from Costco. Costco has really affordable TVs. I got this mirror from Schneiderman's in Rochester, which is like a local furniture store. This greenery, once again, is from Ikea. Same with the box. This plant is also from Ikea. I got these cute little baskets from the Chip and Joanna Gaines collection as well. We got both of our lamps from Target. And then as you can see, we have the ring security system, which I also asked you guys for your advice on for home security. And a lot of people said ring and I had also heard a lot of good things about ring and after doing a little research, that's what we decided to go with. These little beds for the dogs are from Target and they match our bed perfectly, which is so cute and it pleases my OCD. This blanket as well as the bed set and the pillows are from West Elm. The Choose Kindness sign is from Kirkland's. Um, I got just black regular sheets and pillow sets from, or pillow, covers from Amazon. Those signs are from Target, I believe.
Now we'll go into the bathroom and then we'll go into the closet. But we got cactus plants from Target, the Amazon soap dispensers. These we got from Ikea, baskets from Target. And then there's really nothing in the, like by the toilet. That can take you into the shower, which just has a little rack to hold all of our stuff from Target. Now we are going to go into the closet, which I organized with the help of Aubrey. Um, I did Zach's clothes first though, because his was a lot easier than mine. And then my best friend came over and she helped me go through like my 20 boxes of clothes. And we came up with this final product that is literally incredible. So when you walk in, I have shoes literally that go like from top to bottom. And then I have shoes up there, I have some jeans, pajamas, t-shirts, and then a bunch of like dressier outfits, all of my casual clothes. And then I have like all my sweatshirts down here, all of my leggings and sweatpants and shorts, like sporty stuff on this rack. And then all my t-shirts and long sleeves and some sweatshirts over there. And then Zach has his stuff all up there, so his nicer clothes are on top and then his workout slash like casual stuff is on the bottom and then his shoes are up top and uh, yeah it's just so freaking nice and big and like oh, I love it I got these baskets down here all from Target just a whole like random miscellaneous things hats and stuff like that all right now we're gonna go downstairs Okay, so now we are going downstairs, but first I want to point out that I got this painting from Kirkland's. I think it's so cute, so modern, so simple. Love it. And then I also decorated with some greenery, also from Target, once again. So cute. So, now that we are downstairs, um, it's pretty bare still. Uh, there's nothing in really anything over there, so I won't even show you that. Um, I will show you the what we have going on down here. We do have this cute big V sectional from um, Costco. It reclines and it has like electric recliners, which I'll show you. It's so nice. I actually ended up getting this and the couch upstairs for cheaper than what I would have paid for the couch for just upstairs from home furniture, so I got a really good deal. But yeah, oh, whoops. There's little buttons on this side, if I can figure out. And it's electric, so this one, and then those two on the end recline. And it's so nice. And it also, on each like reclining thing, it has a USB port so you can charge your phone. And then there's also two USB ports and two like, plug-in things that you can also charge your phone or computer or anything. All right, and then we have these two like love sack type um, bean bag chairs, which are also from Costco and they were only like 99 bucks. And then this entertainment center is just from my mom's old house. Same with TV, Ashton's PS4. So I don't really know where she got that stuff. And then down here, I have some more greenery plants um, all from Target, except for this is from Ikea. The Live Simply sign is from Kirkland's. And then I got a popcorn maker, which I still have to clean. Sorry for the mess, but it's from Target. Same with the popcorn buckets. And yeah, that is it for downstairs. Now all I have to show you is the upstairs little patio area. And then I think we're done.
that concludes today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed the furnished house tour. And if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below so you never miss a video with me. I'm so excited to finally be moved in and unpacked, organized, all that good stuff. So I will be filming more videos. So if you do have any recommendations of what you want to see next, please let me know in the comments down below. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.